wrong. You go party with your daddy, and you get, it gets uncomfortable, right? Because he'll introduce you to his girlfriend. You're like, what the hell? The play from the Jack of the Box? Stand-up comedian Steve Trevino always knew exactly what he wanted to be while growing up in Texas. And that confidence would eventually get him noticed by one of comedy's biggest names. I don't hold back. I always, never wanted to be anything else. And the only influence for me growing up were black comedians. Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor. So, you know, I admired those guys. And then right around junior high, high school, I saw Carlos Mencia on stage. I ran into him down in Corpus Christi where I grew up and I begged him to go on stage. And he let me. People act like it's hard. My dad was drunk all the time. When I was 14, he'd wake me up and take him to get something to eat. Hey, I want menudo. <laughs> my relationship with Carlos Mencia has been a very interesting one because he's also made my career difficult. Because then people go, oh, he's just like him. He's going to be just like Mencia. And to be honest with you, man, Mencia, he's a, a great comic. As Mencia's reluctant protege, Steve landed himself a spot as a writer and actor on Comedy Central's Mind of Mencia. But despite his notoriety as a standout Latino comic, Steve still finds himself defending his cultural identity. It's amazing what I've gone through, you know, as a Latino comedian, because it's frustrating. Where do I fit? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, where do I belong? I get these people come up to me going, ah, man, you're not representing. And I'm like, what do you mean representing? I'm Latino. What do you want me to represent? I speak fluent Spanish, do you? Well, I don't. Well, then you're not representing. Although he has a good grasp on his Latino roots, Steve's grasp on reality has made his hard-nosed approach to comedy more relevant to a broader audience. When I'm writing a joke, I look for emotion. And I look and I go from my real life. I don't say, you know, my dad. No, I say, this is my dad, that's who he is, and this is how he talks. Right, like, Dad, how come you have a girlfriend, man? What about mom? And he'll get mad at you, right? Hey, if you don't know how to party, don't come. Everybody's life's pretty much the same. We all have bad relationships. We all have crazy parents. We all have, you know, so I look for the emotion of the joke. Though all his angst contributes to his stand-up material, at the heart of it all, Steve Trevino is actually an optimist who happens to be the biggest champion of the American dream. How do I continue to move forward? And how do I get to the level that I want to get? In my book, I just keep working hard, trying to become the best comedian that I can become. And this is America. Things should happen for me. If I keep working hard, I keep showing up, I keep doing my job to my best of my ability, then it should be inevitable. Yes, there's obstacles and there's things that have to be done, but I'm not afraid to work. <laughs>